Well, that's a great morning of a Sunday morning. That's great. Guys, thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. You guys did the panel right now? Was yeah, that right? Yeah, finished the panel. Yep. How was that? I felt like a rock star. It was it was incredible. The energy and the love from uh, from the crowd was like uh, I've never experienced anything like that before. So it was it was crazy. Yeah, it felt you like were, Tupac. Uh, yeah, it felt like Tupac. You like Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> you were here yesterday. Yes, it was. It's this whole trip has been so surreal. I love being here. Um, yeah, so grateful to the fans. <laughs> I'm like, I'm also just a fan myself. I feel like I'm just like nerding out being at a Comic Con in general. I just want to walk around and hang out with everybody. <laughs> and uh, I think that in a few minutes, people are going to watch Grid 2. Yep. What can they expect from, from the sequel, from, from this one? I mean, it's a it's a full movie. I think we're, we we did a really good job at um, you know bringing a lot to the table, a lot of themes. Uh, it'll make you laugh, cry, uh, a little bit of, you know sad, angry, make you cheer. Uh, I feel like we really evolved the characters over the years. Um, we really evolved Adonis, the different relationships with with Bianca, with Rocky, um, with with uh, with Victor and uh, and his father Ivan, um, and just that that the whole Drago um, father and son relationship that I think is extremely important and something that we want to kind of continue within these uh, the Creed films is a uh, family, you know, family. It's a family film. It's a it's a love story as well with boxing in the backdrop, and uh, and I think we did a good job at getting all those things in there, right? Yeah, I think yeah, so. I think so. So yeah, they can look forward to all that. And then Adonis in the first had his huge shadow of. Apollo Creed, yeah. and now Victor has the, to deal with his shadow of Ivan Drago too. How he, they deal with this, this past of their? I think that's something in, in our film that we were trying to address that, you know, um, we're not our fathers. You know, as much as we're, you know, kind of stuck in their shadow or we feel like we, we think that we are, we're not, we're not them at all. And just because they did things one way doesn't mean that we have to do it that way either. So it's about the evolution. Um, and I feel like Creed 2 is the perfect b bookend to, like, Rocky IV. It kind of brings everything kind of full circle um, with our relationships. And, uh, yeah, not without giving away too much, I think that's, like, the kind of perfect way to describe it, if that makes sense. Yeah. And... Now you the, in the movie they're gonna have a son. How this will affect Adonis and a daughter? Daughter. Yeah. daughter. A daughter. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now how is this gonna affect this fa this this family? I think the stakes just we just raised the bar. You know, I think Adonis he was fighting for himself for a really long time, and I think um, realizing that family is what's most important and becoming a father, I think really changed him in a in a in a, in a, in a great way. And I think, uh, yeah, he starts to make decisions not just about himself and something that Bianca actually helps him realize that in a, in a real way throughout the film also. Uh, originally, I think that uh, Rocky was more like a blue-collar kind of thing. And then you and Ryan Coogler, you guys turned this into more like a, a black culture. It, it became really strong. And it feels like a foundation of a new, uh, a new franchise, maybe. Uh, do you guys see a future uh, for Adonis and Apollo and, and, this, and this franchise? Yeah, I mean, as long as fans want to see these movies, I think we want to keep making them, right? Exactly. exactly. It's, um, you know, just what Rocky was to so many different people as being inspiring and motivational. I, I think we're Adonis and, and, and Bianca, we're, and we're creating that same type of thing with this generation. Um, so hopefully we can continue to be inspiring and fans want to keep seeing Adonis and Bianca and see us grow and evolve and, you know, and we have a daughter now and see where that family goes. I think, I think uh, I'm down. I'm down to do as many, as many as I can. The, yeah. As a boxing fan, there's a beautiful Muhammad Ali reference in the trailer. And how, do, how was to shoot that scene? And, and how did you choose that reference? In the, the boxing underwater. in the water, yes. We were trying to find out. It was something that, um, that's one of the tough things about doing, you know, sequels and multiple boxing movies is you kind of run out of things to do. And you try to find different exercises and different things that you could put into the montage to make it different and cool. And uh, I always 
wanted to do an underwater like training montage. I thought it would be cool. So I was on YouTube with Steven and we were uh, Steven Capel, our, our, our director, and we were just uh, Googling, you know, workouts and stuff like that. And that one popped up. So it was like, yo, let's just try to do it. And um, yeah, we were we were in an Olympic size swimming pool, you know, 30 feet under the ground with the scuba scuba divers with the you know with the oxygen mask giving me air every once in a while and we were just just getting it done it was it was dangerous it was tiring but like i said i wanted to put something on screen that hasn't really been done before so i, I we pulled it off and what about you florian i believe that your father you and your father you you come from a family of sports lovers and boxing lovers how is that experience for you well it's a great experience i mean um I told that before on the stage, it's uh, simply an honor to work with such great, beautiful and talented people. And um, I mean, I was a fan of the franchise, so being now part of this franchise and uh, playing now the son of such an iconic role is, is crazy. You can't, really, uh, you can't really find words for that, but um, I was working my ass off, same as Mike, and I think we put some legit fighting stuff to, uh, we bring some legit fighting stuff to the screen, so I think you guys will enjoy it, for sure. Uh, in the other one, the first movie, there's some tracking shots, really amazing, uh, circling around, doing some long shots of boxing scenes. Uh, what can we expect from the fighting scenes this time? Uh, the cinematography in this one um, is amazing. Um, our DP, Kramer, and our, our amazing uh, camera operator, Michael, Michael Heathcote, I've uh, worked with him on a couple other films before, and we just wanted to give a different look, you know? We wanted to switch things up a little bit and really try to achieve uh, visuals inside the ring that, like, again, hasn't really been seen before. Like, of course, there's certain traditional shots that you kind of have to get to shoot fighting uh, fighting scenes, but ultimately we want to try to get some new new camera angles and new cinematography, and, and, and um, yeah, we tried to do that. Hopefully, hopefully we, we did that. Yeah. I think we did. And Sly said recently that he's done with Rocky. Do you believe he's done with Rocky? He's not, never gonna, gonna, gonna come back again? I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure after the Rocky franchise, he didn't think Rocky Balboa was coming back to the screen. And, you know, and then Creed came along and Ryan Coogler, and, and then we convinced him to come back. So, you know, he, he's able to change his mind whenever he wants to. The door is always open, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's Sly. So, um, yeah, as of right now, no, but who knows in the future? You know, who knows? When I make my Bianca movie, I'll get him back. Yeah. yeah. Bianca yeah. spinoff? He'll become my, uh, I don't know, tour manager or something. Tour manager, is that what it is? <laughs> my backup dancer. <laughs> Sly, we'll Rocky take a break from box, the boxing world. Oh, my God, I would, I would love to see, to see Sly as a backup dancer. I paid so top dollar for that. <laughs> <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> All right, bye. I'm going to go write the film. <laughs> Here in Brazil, you're famous for doing uh, Kill Grave, and, and you did, of course, uh, Adonis, and also for being a fan of anime. Yes. Do you love anime? Yeah, I love anime. Yeah, yeah. Do I'm you know Saint Seiya? Who? Saint Seiya. Saint Seiya? Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a, an anime, a Japanese anime. No, it's I'm a, not familiar it's, with it's that It's such one. a big thing in Brazil. Is it? We have some booths here okay. uh, with uh, the new cartoon, the new, the new series. Saint Seiya. Yeah, Sensei okay, from yeah, Netflix. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, I'll have to yeah, check it out. I yeah. will, I will. I mean, that's one of the things I love about, you know, Com uh, uh, Comic-Con and CCXP is, like, you get a chance to see all the new anime, you know what I'm saying, the new introduction to, to, the, to the animation world. So that's what I love about this place. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Do you have a favorite one? I got a few, man. I mean, you know, uh, like One Punch Man is like something that I, I put uh, put flow on, or um, Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, you got, you know, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Naruto. You got Bleach. Full uh, Full Metal Alchemist, you know, it's, uh, I, I watch one, yeah, One Piece is another one too, yeah, yeah. Vegeta, Dragon Ball Z, Be Vegeta, Vegeta. <laughs> I'm teaching, I'm teaching Tessa about anime, yeah. All right, cool. I said, I said Q Grave, right? It's Killmonger. It's Killmonger, yeah, you said Q Grave. It's like the last day of yeah. uh, C6P, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Guys, thank you very much for oh, being here. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much for having thanks us. Thanks so much. Welcome thank back. You. It was a huge pleasure Appreciate to talk to you guys. Thank All right, you. we'll be right so back. Much. Thank you very much.